Prove that the limit as x approaches 4 of x squared is equal to 16 using the epsilon delta definition of a limit. So to do this, we first give ourselves an arbitrary epsilon greater than 0. And from here, we want to figure out what we should choose delta to be. Now, we give ourselves an arbitrary real number x such that 0 is less than the absolute value of x minus 4, which is less than delta. And from here, we want to show that the absolute value of x squared minus 16 is less than epsilon. And in the process of doing that, we're going to figure out what we should choose delta to be. Now, we know that x squared minus 16 is the same thing as x minus 4 times x plus 4. And the absolute value of a product is the same as the product of absolute values, so we get this. So then what do we do from here? Well, we know that the absolute value of x minus 4 is less than delta. So then, what do we do with the absolute value of x plus 4? The idea is we define delta small enough so that the absolute value of x plus 4 is less than some fixed positive quantity. For example, we can define delta so that delta is less than or equal to 1. In that case, absolute value of x minus 4 is less than 1, which means x must lie between 3 and 5. What does that tell us about x plus 4? Well, if we add 4 on all three sides, we get that x plus 4 lies between 7 and 9. So x plus 4 is positive, which means x plus 4 must be equal to its absolute value. We now see the absolute value of x plus 4 is less than 9. So this guy is less than delta, this guy is less than 9, but since these guys are both positive, their product must be less than 9 delta. So now we're at this. But then to make this less than epsilon, we just have to define delta so that delta is less than or equal to epsilon over 9. Because then 9 delta is less than or equal to epsilon. So we have made this guy less than epsilon, and so this completes our epsilon delta proof.